In last video we talked about clipping masks and in this one we're gonna be talking about opacity masks and we can be using opacity masks to hide or fade out our shape maybe like that so instead of having a harsh or hard transition like this one we can be fading out our shape or even we can be using the opacity masks for other applications maybe to create a reflection of our shape like that to give the illusion of reflective surface like this one we see in here so let's start by creating a reflection for that shape in here we're gonna be selecting that one and selecting our reflect tool from here or pressing O and then moving our reference point maybe to that area in here let me zoom in a little bit to make it even more precise I'm gonna be moving our anchor point to that part and now let's drag our character then pressing alt or option to duplicate our shape and pressing shift for aligning our reflection and let me zoom out a little bit and then I'm gonna be selecting the rectangle tool or pressing M and then I'm gonna be drawing maybe a rectangle above our shape and I'm gonna be drawing the rectangle all the way maybe to here and now when it comes to opacity masks you need to be using the default gradient which is black and white you can be choosing that one always from your gradient panel and going to that part if you don't see it in here you can be scrolling and you can choose white and black however we need to set that one for our fill color so I'm gonna be swapping these two colors from here and I'm gonna be removing our stroke and now we have our gradient fill like that and when we start converting that shape into opacity mask the black areas will not be visible and the white areas will be visible and these gray areas will be a transition for our shape so switching to our gradient tool and in order to control our gradient we need to bring our fill color to top and then start maybe dragging our color like that and here we have the black at the bottom which means that this part will not be visible and this part will be visible of our original shape so now we need to be selecting both of our shapes in here switching to our selection tool or pressing V then selecting both of these shapes and then going to our transparency panel from here if you don't see it in here you can find it in your window in that part or even you can be accessing that one from here as well you can be making mask from here I'm gonna be clicking on make mask and that will be creating an opacity mask on our shape like that if we unselect our shape you're gonna be seeing that this part is not visible however that one is very visible and this part is a transition of our shape you can be enhancing your mask anytime by selecting your shape and you can be controlling your original shape by clicking on that part and start maybe moving your reflection a little bit like that or even you can be selecting your mask and start moving your mask itself maybe around like that or even modifying your gradient anytime by selecting your gradient tool and you can be sliding maybe your black all the way like that to hide even more of your shape even more or even you can be dragging your gradient tool to make a different gradient like that one and you have to make sure that this one is 100% black you can be double clicking that color anytime to make sure that your black is 100% black to make sure it's hiding your shape totally from here and you can be inverting your mask anytime from here like that or even set it back by disabling that one and since you are selecting your clipping mask you will not be able to select any other element so you will not be able to access any other element except that one and you will be seeing opacity mask in your layer so you have to be switching back to your shape in order to be able to control your other elements and of course you can be unlinking them from here and you can start moving your shape maybe around like that within your clipping mask like that so I'm gonna undo that and I'm gonna relink them again from here and we can be controlling their opacity from here to make it maybe 70% or 50% like that so it's gonna be more like a reflection and anytime you would like to release your clipping mask you can be selecting that one and select release so I'm gonna undo that and let's move to our next shape in here so here we have our shape and we need to make an opacity mask for that part so I'm gonna be using only the outline of our shape in here I'm gonna be double clicking that one to enter isolation mode and here we have our shape within a group so I'm gonna be double clicking again 
to select only that outline without these lines in here to create my opacity mask using that outline so I'm gonna be copying that one or pressing command or control C so I'm gonna be double clicking in here to exit isolation mode now I'm gonna be pasting my shape outside and of course you can be pasting that one in place by pressing command or control F to have it on top of your shape and maybe remove that one now I'm gonna be selecting that one removing the outline and adding our famous gradient in here the black and white one then I'm gonna be selecting both of our shapes in here I'm going to our transparency panel then clicking make mask I'm gonna be selecting our clipping mask switching to gradient tool and I'm gonna be drawing my gradient all the way to here and now here we have our nice transition we can be controlling that one even from here to make it a little bit like that and so on we can be deselecting our shape to check our result and it looks really nice and here's another application of our opacity mask combined with our clipping mask so if you remember in our previous video we created our clipping mask in this shape then I use the same outline to create an opacity mask on top of our clipping mask or even we can be seeing that one in here we have our created clipping mask in here we can be moving our circle all the way like that pressing shift to align this circle on top of our original one and then I'm gonna be changing the fill color from here choosing and you can be choosing instead of linear you can be switching that one to make it radial like that and selecting both of your shapes in here going to transparency and making mask and selecting our mask and maybe selecting our gradient tool and start adjusting our opacity mask maybe a little bit to here to make these parts more visible and so on so this is giving us maybe a dreamy effect or a style as you can see this could be nice for your art direction sometimes so guys you're gonna be finding that file in your resources you can be downloading that one and start practicing your clipping masks and your opacity masks that was Khalil Ibrahim with you take care and I'll be seeing you